Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I am Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. And welcome back, you guys. Today we are just playing, okay? It's gonna be a fun video. I have ordered some goodies online. I talked to several of you and you're like, girl, I need some samples. I cannot get any samples. Everywhere is closed. How am I supposed to order fragrance when I don't know what they smell like? Me, her, who loves samples, okay? I have been going on to so many of the websites of the actual brands themselves and have just been looking to see if they have discovery kits or if they have samples or different little things like that that we can order and see what the fragrance smells like and then that way you still are able to try it before you buy it so you guys look I got this one from house of Siage, and it just looks like this I'm new to this brand I don't have any of their fragrances but this is how it came this is how it looks this has been so much fun because I'm just having a blast like spraying them and trying them and there's like so many so I ordered ordered from the premium line and I ordered the House of Siage. This is their signature brand right here. And then I also ordered this one. This one here is the gold one. Now this is Whispers in the Garden. So this is how it looks. And I've just been ordering these and playing with these because I don't like blind buying. We already spoke about that. If you're new to the channel, she, Shrey, her, me. I don't like blind buying. I don't like being disappointed and the whole me and returning. That never happens. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna return it. I'm gonna return it. And I don't return it. So it just ends up sitting there or until I find someone to give it to. So to avoid myself going through those type of situations, okay, I am ordering discovery kits and I am just playing with it. So you guys were asking me a lot about the House of Siage. And like I said, it's new. I knew of the brand. I've seen the cupcakes, they're gorgeous. How could you miss them? But I don't own any of them. I don't have any of them in my collection. So I thought it'd be fun for us to just spray and sniff and I'll tell you my quick thoughts and opinions on them. Oh my God, these names right here, you guys, for real? I'm telling you already, these names, okay? How's everybody doing? Doing. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're well. I hope you are staying in. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are staying smiling, keeping your positive vibes, positive energy going. I know it gets hard sometimes. Trust me, I do. I had um, a very difficult uh, situation occur earlier part of this week. Probably when you see it, it'd be a week three now but anyways I did my uncle passed due to the coronavirus and you know we had a funeral for him and everything like that we had it actually online which was beautiful that we were able to attend and be there not in person but we were able to be there online so you know it's affecting everyone you know everyone is going through it I try not to talk about it you know as much you know but you know you can't deny the elephant in the room you can't deny the unprecedented time that is going on during this time and the only thing I could advise you to do is what I'm doing I'm staying prayerful because I know who holds tomorrow Hello, somebody okay and I am choosing to be happy I'm choosing to smile I'm choosing to look at this at am I get ready to do an analogy you guys give me this 2.5 seconds 2.5 seconds okay here's my analogy you guys follow follow now let's say for instance I'm choosing to see the situation as it's gonna be okay so if you had a perfume bottle right some will look at it and say oh that's half empty She's the type of girl that will look at it and say, no, it's half full. And that's how I'm choosing to see life right now. Not looking for it to be half empty. I'm looking for it to be half full, okay? If you like that analogy, you guys, stop what you're doing right now. Stop what you're doing. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Whatever you do, just hit a button. Okay, this is gonna be a long video, so let's get into these fragrances. Okay, where do we even wanna start? This one is called Emerald Rain. Now, you know I'm telling you right now, okay? I'm probably gonna butcher more than half of these names, okay? But I will leave all of the names in the description box below. If you wanna go and look at it, have a look at the notes and everything like that, you can do so there. Also, you guys, these were 25% off. I believe they were retailed for $35 or $50. I don't know, one of the two, okay? For accuracy, check the description box. But I got 25% off and it was free shipping. And I have to give a huge shout out to the House of Seattle. You guys, these came in one day. Like seriously, I ordered it on Friday. It was at the front door on Saturday. I kid you not. My guy's like, you have something at the door? And I'm like, no way. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I just ordered it yesterday. And he's like, well, it's here today. So shout out to you, House of Siash. Okay, let's get into it. You guys, this one is called Emerald Rain, I believe. And you already know. Let's see my thoughts on this one. Oh, this is good. What did I write for this one? Because I did myself a little note already. Emerald Rain. See, I said that. I said it's good. It's good. It's sexy. I like it. This is in the pile that I'm 
contemplating, okay? I move on, that's Emerald Rain. Let's put this over here so I don't get myself confused. This one is Love is in the Air. I'm gonna try and put a little picture of the cupcake up so you guys can know which ones that I'm talking about. They're very easy to decide which ones I'm talking about because all of the cupcakes are very different. They're beautiful, Swarovski Crystal, it opens up. I've played with them before in store, but I never, you know, bought one. I just, I don't know, I was too busy buying MFK, okay? Hello? Okay, so anyways, back to it. This one here is called Love is in the Air. I believe this had a beautiful bottle as well. Very, very pretty. Let's see this here. Yeah, this one I almost blind bought just on a whim, and you know I don't even blind buy, just by reading the notes, and I'm so happy I didn't. What did I put for Love is in the Air? I put no, I put no, because, yeah, it's good, but buy worthy for me, not not you. If you love it, you buy it. But for me, I'm like, mm, no. So this is how I make my decisions when I'm choosing fragrances. Okay, I move on. This one is called Cherry Garden. Ooh. And what did I put for Cherry Garden? Oh, God, why did I do that? Let's see. It smells like cherries. <laughs> it smells like a garden. It's Cherry Garden. Is it good? In my opinion, you guys, this is just my first impression, first opinion. We're doing this together. I want it to be interactive, kind of fun, okay? So if you want to order these and, you know, let me know your thoughts and opinion on them, that will be good too. But this is good, but would I buy it? No, but it is good. It's safe. It's nice. Um, I don't find it to be sexy. It's very pretty. It's very nice. I think the uh, cupcake for this one is really, really pretty. I will say that. So Cherry Garden, what did I put on there? I put no, and I'm still saying no. That is not in the pile to think about buying. This one, oh my gosh, I am not going to even try and pronounce this name. I'm going to place it across the screen because I know I'm getting ready to butcher it up. This has a black cupcake. I don't know. It kind of looks scary to me. I was like, oh no. No, but this one is, I, what did I put for this one? It's okay, you know, I, I was turned off by the cupcake, right? Because cupcake's black and silver. If it would have been black and gold, and they do have a black and gold one, I would have been like, okay, but you guys, this smells so sexy, okay? I got my phone here, so I did bring up some of the notes so that I can give you them um, um, a little bit. It's gonna make the video a little bit longer, but I want you to know, you know, what they smell like. So here's this one here. Peppercorn, cardamom oil, the heart notes are rose oil, jasmine, base notes, patchouli and musk. It's sexy, it's good. I really, really like this one. Yes, this is a winner. I really do like this one. Okay, I move on. So this is in the pile, but the only reason why I don't want that one is because I don't like the cupcake. Can you be that shallow? Yes. That cupcake has to be everything, especially for my first one. But that fragrance is amazing. Okay, so that was the one that I'm writing across the screen because can't be bothered to try and say that name because I can't. All right, let's go to the next one. Here is, this is a House of Bajon. Now this cupcake is really, really pretty. Now the notes in this one, this is more, this will be perfect for right now. This is grapefruit, it's citrusy, it's got mango, iris. Oh, it's got heliotrope, amber. It's nice. What do you get after nice? It would be fitting, so appropriate for right now. This is really good. What did I put for this one? I put it's okay, and it is. It's okay, it's nice. Would I buy it? Mm, no, but it's good. Okay, let's move on. Here is our next one. This is, oh my goodness, another one. Chade or Dor. I, okay, I tried. Cheval Dior. The colors of this cupcake is super pretty. Oh, I love it. It looks like royalty. It reminds me of Maison Francis Kirk John's colors. You know what I mean? Everything reminds me of Maison Francis. Let's spray it and see what my thoughts are. What did I put for this? Ooh, I already know the answer. Hmm. It's not bad. I don't love it, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's wild strawberry, magnolia. I don't think I like magnolia. I don't think I heard any of the fragrances I really love have magnolia in them. I don't know, but this, yeah, I'm not wowed by it. It's got black rose, Turkish rose. I like both of those. It's got vanilla and sandalwood. I love vanilla and sandalwood, but magnolia and the wild strawberries. Not too wild about that. Beautiful cupcake. I put down on my list for this one, it's a no, but it's good. All right, I move on. This cupcake is gorgeous. These are the colors of my birthstone. If you're born in August, you know that these are the colors. It is gorgeous. This is called Passion de l'Amour, and I could be making that up. La Amour, Passion de la Amour. Are you laughing at me? Go ahead, it's okay. I wanna be here for your entertainment. Just go ahead and laugh at me. Passion de l'Amour. I believe that's it, you guys. I don't know, okay? I could be making that up. Let's see what the notes are in this one here. Let's give it a quick, ooh. See, it's dark, it's heavy, it's sexy, it's sensual. I already went somewhere. And what did I put for this one? Yes, 
I put yes on there and I put sexy next to it. I know what I like, I know what I like. Oh my God, but I can't blind buy. I still need to smell it before I buy it, you guys. This one's really, really good. Oh my gosh, yes, this is really, really good. Okay, I put yes for this. This is the second one that's in the pile that I'm contemplating, okay? So two so far in the pile. Let me give you something else. Here's why I like it. Look at this. Saffron raspberry, caramel. It has a little bit of oud. It has latex, absolute. It's hot, it's heavy, it's sexy, and I like it. Oh, and I like the cupcake. I gotta tell my guy, this might be a great birthday gift. I'm just saying, you gotta plan ahead. This is a yes, okay? Now, let's move on. We have three to go. Here, you guys, I'm gonna have to come back for a part two to do those other ones, okay? All right, because I don't wanna be here. I don't want you to be here too long. I mean, I know I love long videos, but I know people have things to do. I don't know. Let's see, this is called Holiday. I don't know about this cupcake. It's got a lot going on, but here it is. What do you think about it? All right, let's spray it. Here we go. What did I put down for holiday? Oh, fresh, clean, opening, citrusy. Mm -hmm. And here are some of the notes. Top notes would be mandarin orange, heart notes, peach and rose, base notes, vetiver, and cedar. And it's good. What did I put for that? I put it's good. Is it in the category, do I want it? It's really good though. I don't know, this might, uh, this is a new category now. This is going in a maybe, revisit, okay? We're gonna revisit that one. Okay, let's move on. This one is called Tiara. Ooh, Tiara. This is a beautiful color for the cupcake. This is simply gorgeous. Okay, so let's spray this one. I like the color of the cupcake. What did I put? Mmm. It's sweet. So some of the notes in this one, top notes would be tangerine and cinnamon. Heart notes would be rose, oil, and peony. Base notes would be vanilla and musk. It's good, and what did I write for Tiara? I put it's sweet and it's really good. Would I buy it? Do I wanna smell like this all the time? What does it remind me of? It does remind me of something, but I can't recall what. No, but it is good. I will say that, it really is good, but nope, it's not going to the buy pal. I move on. Here is the one. If you can see the color of the juice, then you probably already know what it is. This is a beautiful cupcake. This was in the number one spot when I tried them all. This would be the number one that I would go, that I gravitated towards. I say that now, but this is gonna be my second time going in for another whiff to see how much I really like it, and we're gonna witness this together. Let me give you some the notes inside of this one you guys the cupcake color is beautiful it is gold that is my absolute favorite color so I do love that top notes are almond oil and bergamot heart notes are orange blossom and jasmine base notes would be vanilla and sugar that sounds like a gourmand sweet something or other but definitely sexy now let's spray it mm. oh I forgot to tell you the name of it you guys it's called benevolence I believe it's oh god it kind of reminds me, and it doesn't, okay? I, I'm just drawing this from a quick memory. It kind of reminds me of Grand Soir? No? What? I don't know, it just smells like something I smelled before. It smells rich, it smells classy, it smells sophisticated, it smells elegant, it smells like I should be going to a steakhouse dinner. You know what I mean? Like I should be all dressed up, going to a steakhouse dinner. Really fancy, oh my gosh. This is good. I really, really, really like this one. Oh my gosh. So this is in the runner up pile, you guys, okay? This is in the runner up pile. I will come back and do Whispers in the Garden. I won't go into these today, but I do have a video online already regarding these. You can also order samples and discovery kits from Perfumes Damali. This has Delina in it. I don't know if they have one with Delina exclusive. However, these doesn't come with Delina exclusive, but they do have these here. You can order these online. It just looks like that on the side where it says Royal Essence. If you open it up inside, they look like this. Okay, so if you open it up, it does look like this inside, and then when you close it, it looks like that there. So when you're asking me, these are the discovery kits that I order when I wanna know about a fragrance, when I wanna know if I wanna try it before I buy it. I use Royalty Scent as well. That's another place that I get a lot of great fragrances from, even hard to find fragrances. So that's what I did, you guys. I have so many of these here that I need to go and play with, decide what I really wanna buy. I have my heart set on probably about three the longevity, when I sprayed them and played with them before, I would say it was probably, I can't give a full in-depth detail review, so I'm not gonna even judge that because I was spraying so many of them, so it would be really hard to tell which ones really held onto the body and which ones don't. But now that I have all these in my collection, if you have any of them that you would like to know specific details on, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be so happy to do a video about it because now I have all these fragrances, so that's just more content. You guys, thank you so much for taking the time, stopping by my channel, and exploring these amazing, beautiful fragrances 
fragrances with me. So I just wanted to share with you if you're looking for samples, you're looking for little decants, ways to try fragrances before you buy them. This is a great way to go. You have to go onto the website of the actual company like House of Siage or Perfumes de Molly and you scroll down and you look for either it's called Sample Kit, Discovery Kit, or Travel Kit. So look under any of those and you might see, you know, some that you can try before you buy. All right, you guys, it's been real and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Wait, wait, wait. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share the video with somebody that you know that likes fragrance as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay safe, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.